This video is sponsored by Clean My Mac X. Welcome back to HMHT. My name is Ben, your host, and Apple has just released a new macOS update, which is macOS Pixel 11.4. I've already updated my Mac that you are seeing here and in this video I'm going to be taking you through the update. The update size for me came in at exactly 2.72 gigs and that's because I was already on 11.4 beta. If you are coming like from 11.3 or Catalina or Mojave or something other than that then you're going to see a bigger update size that is somewhere between 8 to 12 gigs. Now. You can see the new build number that I have at the time I'm recording this video, which is 20F71. And if we go to see the system storage being taken up by this update, it's currently taken up 16.47 gigs, nothing out of the ordinary. Now, those are the software changes. And now let's talk about the new features and new changes that came with macOS Pixel 11.4. The first one that I have to mention is that you can now use graphic cards based on the AMD Navi RDNA 2 architecture support, which are the 6800, 6800 XT, and 6900 XT. Those were the ones that were mentioned in the release notes of this update. However, the more expensive Bigger Brother 6700 XT has been excluded for some reason. If I had it, I would be able to test it out, but at this time, it hasn't been mentioned. Something that I should probably clarify at the time I'm recording this video is that Dolby Atmos and Lossless Audio have not fully been mentioned in the notes of this update and I believe when Apple sort of highlighted Dolby Atmos and Lossless Audio, they mentioned that it's going to be coming sometime in June, perhaps with macOS 12 or with macOS 11.5. Five, that's when we might see it but this update doesn't mention it and it's currently not supported specifically to do with the podcast application on the Mac you now have support for podcast subscriptions which are available via monthly or annual subscription and I look to see whether there is like a bundle for this whether Apple is going to take them and add them to the Apple one subscription bundle where you can check on your Apple ID and at this time at the time I'm recording Recording this video it has not yet been added also there have been minor changes and updates within the podcast app more prominent settings and channels grouped together collections of shows from podcast creators so now with paid podcasts I think they will be able to support podcast creators a little bit more like men behind the hype Another change that you do need to keep in mind if you code or develop has to do with some Xcode deprecations that came with macOS Pixel 11.4 and most probably newer versions of macOS. So when depicting the minimum OS in which your apps run, do not use minimum OS version. Instead, use LS minimum system version. And this also includes app built with Mac Catalyst apps. So just some minor wording changes for developers, Xcode and also Mac Catalyst app developers. Those you wanna keep in mind. And also since Apple released some hardware at the spring loaded event that just passed, then obviously this macOS Pixel 11.4 supports a ton of those. And the first one has to do with support for the new Magic Keyboard that came alongside the new 24 inch iMac. So if you have that keyboard, you can use it with macOS Pixel 11.4. And also if you have the new 2021 iMacs that were just released, you get a new Hello screen saver. If you are on a different device from that iMac, then you might go into your system preferences and try to see this new Hello screen saver, but you will not see it as there are other ways you can get it, but it's specifically available starting from the new iMac and perhaps newer. macOS Pixel 11.4 also supports AirTags and also the new Find My network that Apple has decided to open up to third-party developers. So it's good, but there's a limit to what you can do on the Mac since you know the U1 chip enables newer iPhones to be able to get directions you can get like specific directions on iPhone but on the Mac you can actually just get minimum directions and I noticed that at this time is still limited to 
accessibilities and it doesn't allow you to ring the air tag so perhaps in future they could add that play sound or ring air tag option also if you got the new hardware this update supports a ton of things for the new hardware so if you have the new 2021 iMac then you can go into your system preferences and then go to general and you see where it says highlight color when you have the new iMac instead of seeing like red green and so on you can select the color of your new iMac and since it's available in different colors then this will be able to change the highlight color to the color of your new iMac so those seems to be the new features and changes that came with Mac OS Pixel 11.4 at the time I'm recording this video I might find some more however let's now talk about some of the bugs or issues that were addressed with this update and the first issue that was mentioned that has been fixed has to do with bookmarks in Safari which from time to time we're getting reordered or moved into a hidden folder so that issue has been fixed and also this update fixes an issue where certain websites may not display correctly after waking your mark from sleep and also if you are into video and photography like myself this update fixes an issue where keywords may not be included when exporting a photo from the photos app such information would include the name the date and timestamps so those are now being included when you export your photos which is a good thing I use that to track some of the uh, timelines on my shoots and pictures so that's good and the last thing that this update fixes has to do with preview where if you search for PDF using the preview it would become unresponsive from time to time so this update fixes those issues now that's about it for me when it comes to Mac OS Pixel 11.4 if I find more new features or experience some major bugs or setbacks I might make another video here on the channel and when it comes to performance I would say since this is the official version that we're talking about and that I'm on right now it's very stable when it comes to performance and at the time I'm recording this video we are just a few weeks away from WWDC 2021 which is going to bring the new bigger revolutionized Mac OS version I believe they're going to call it Mac OS 12 since at the time also I'm recording this video Mac OS 11.5 is actually out but it's in its beta stages which I'm covering on the channel too so there's a ton to cover and in the near future not too far off Mac OS 12 will be here on the channel I might show you how to get it and also cover all the changes that came that come with that update that just goes to show that um, my time is up and I'll see you guys in the next video peace